Hey everyone, I was one of five artists chosen to create a cover for Dina Wakely's new Blue Edition Journal for Creativation 2020, and I'm sharing that with you today. Hello my creative friends, Jessica Sanders here. Welcome to my channel. First, let's chat about some new products that Dina's releasing for Creativation 2020 that will be available to purchase in February. So exciting, exciting, exciting. She has a new journal. It's called the Blue Edition Journal. It has a blue cover and guess what? It has denim pages. They are so cool. They replace the craft paper in Dina's normal journal. It also has canvas and the thick heavy duty watercolor paper that's in the small white journal. So it has a variety of pages. It's not quite as thick as the, re the original journal, but it's really, really nice. And I am really excited to be working on these denim pages. Next up, I have Dina Wakely Media Gloss Sprays. These are acrylic sprays, which means they're waterproof when you're finished and they're dry, which is fabulous. And they come in 12 colors right now. Maybe Ranger will put the rest out later. I don't know, that would be fantastic. Ranger, would you do that for us? We would love it. Okay, so these are all the colors and you can see it says Glossy Acrylic Spray. So that's the kind of finish you're going to get. It's not as matte. And they're the same colors that come in the Dina Wakely Heavy Body Acrylics. So pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm excited to be using them. Ranger also sent me these beautiful stencils. There's stars and there's letters, which just kind of gives you that graffiti look. And some media board, chipboard shapes, new stamps, new collage papers. It's super exciting. Those are a few of the products that Dina will be releasing and demoing at Creativation 2020. Now let's get started on the Blue Edition Journal cover. So to preserve that nice blue color of the cover, I'm going to start with the clear gesso and just spread it messily over the top with the palette knife. I don't mind the texture. In fact, I love the texture and that's what I'm going for. Once that's dry, I'm getting out a selection of Dina Wakely acrylics that I'm going to coordinate with the sprays. So I've chosen a selection of blues. I have ocean, peacock, marine, and I also have olive to get a more neutral color. I have night as well. And I'm just going to create a messy painted background. I'm also adding white, or you could use white gesso here, to add a light and bright area in the center of my cover. Now I'm using a large brush to paint the cover. I've heard that Dina is coming out with some new large brushes. Can't wait to get my hands on those. So I'm just painting around. I wanna keep the center area light and bright and the edges very dark just to create a lot of contrast. I have a little too much paint. I got a little crazy when I added the paint on my page, but I just have an extra piece of paper that I'm using to wipe that off. And I'm actually even going to take that and print on top of my journal just to remove some of that paint. It'll make it dry faster and also give it this nice textured look. Next, I'm using a stencil and a baby wipe to remove a little bit of that paint and actually move some of the paint around. I want this small texture in the background it's going to create a nice place for my focal point to pop off of. Now I'm using some white acrylic and the Dina Wakely texture tools to add just some little dots. It's a really easy way to paint dots on my page. Next, I'm using a little bit of night with a little water added to it to make it more fluid and a chopstick to create a circular pattern on my cover. Again, I'm just looking to create a background so my focal point is going to pop out. Now I know you're waiting for me to get to those sprays. I'm sorry. It's going to, it took me a minute to get there, but they're coming very soon, I promise. So I'm adding more dots. Just this time I'm using the night. I like the way it looks. It's nice and dark and deep color. And adding a little bit of white into that circle area to make it light and bright and even some water to make it that flowing feeling. So I have this really white, slight light area background. Now I wanna get out the sprays and 
but I'm not spraying, okay? I'm dripping. So you can open the bottle and just drip from the little tip of it and it'll make these nice drops on your page, on my cover, and I love it. Now keep in mind, if they're wet, when you drop different colors on there, those colors are going to blend and move together just like normal, they're fluid. And so keep that in mind. You may wanna let each layer dry before you add more drips. Now while it's drying, let's work on our focal point. There's an ocean, olive, night, and eggplant for the sprays I'm going to use here. I'm going to create a background of the blue, the sky color, and white on a tag. And I'm adding also a little bit of elephant to neutralize it a little bit. Again, I'll print off the excess paint, makes it dry faster and gives it a nice, beautiful texture. Now I'm going to use my letters as masks from Dina's new letter set. And I've already been using them so you can see they have color on them. So if you don't want that to happen, be sure and drop them in a little bucket of water after you use them or clean them immediately with a baby wipe. Dina has also said to be sure and wipe off the nozzles of your sprays when you're finished using them. And I'm using the plain collage paper to pick up the letters and also to catch the overspray. It's a really cool technique and you end up with some really fun papers to play with later. Next, I'm using that same dropping method and dropped a few drops onto my tag. Then I'm going to just explore a little bit with the collage paper and figure out what I want to put on my cover. I decided my tag needed a little more love and so I'm adding some archival ink around the edges. I was toying with also adding some different chipboard shapes, but I ended up not adding those to this. So again, keep an eye out for those in future videos. I did decide to use the bird. I love the bird chipboard shapes. They are fantastic. Now I'm flipping through my blue journal to get some denim strings and I just cut it a little bit along the edge and I'm pulling those off and then clipping them off. I'm going to use those in my focal point. I really want the idea of this is the blue edition journal. It's to me, it's special and I want to show what's inside it on my cover. So I also want to include a little bit of this burlap. Now this is a lighter color burlap than it is in the original journal. And so I really think it really goes together so well. I mean, Ranger really have, and Dina have really outdone themselves, I feel. So I'm twisting together those strings. I'm going to put them through the hole of my tag and just create a little knot there. It's going to look nice on my cover, I think. And then I'm just really messing them up. First they were twisted, but now they're just a big mess, and which is cool. Dropping a few more drops on there. I wanted to bring some of that white forward. Next, I'll use Dean Wakely's Gel Medium to put some collage tissue paper. This is from Vintage and Sketches, and it's the large lady, and I really love her. Oh, it's so pretty. And so I'm just going to use my palette knife because for me it's faster. I like to use my palette knife to do that. And I'm kind of covering most of the journal with the gel medium. And that tissue paper will almost disappear and it'll look like she's part of the background. So next I have that overspray page that I was telling you about, and I'm just going to use it also as collage on this page. I love how with the sprays you get that sort of speckled texture, and even when you have multiple colors, some of it will blend, but some of it also just has little dots of different color in there. And on this tissue paper, it is fantastic. It's just such a great combination. So I'm just tearing the sheet and using my gel medium to attach it here and there. I have gel medium on the cover and then I put it over the tissue paper as well. And if it gets a little wrinkled, I'm okay with that. But if you don't want the wrinkles, you can smooth them out with your palette knife or with a brush. And while that's drying, I'll go back to my focal point. I'm going to use a pit pen in that similar color of blue. Now it's smudgeable, but it dries permanent and it, it'll make a nice shadow effect around my words and make them stand out. I don't know if you really notice all those little speckles and dots on there around the letters. I really, really love that effect. I know I just talked about it with the tissue paper. It also did it on this tag, which was painted with acrylic paints. So you can see that Dina's acrylics 
the heavy body acrylics and the gloss acrylic sprays really work nicely together. Now there's going to be a little bit of sheen and shine with the gloss sprays depending on how you use them. And I think that's also really nice. So once I finish adding those shadows around the edges of the letters, I'm going to take a white pen and add a little bit of a highlight here and there. I'm not going around the letters completely, just some small areas to make those letters stand out from the back a little bit more. All right, I think that's looking nice so far. So let's go back to our cover. I decided I want the edges to be a little darker, so I'm using Night and a dry brush to add a little bit of that dark color to the edge, sort of create a vignette for my cover. The lady on there is looking really nice and sketchy. You can see a little bit of the tissue paper because of that darker background, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's just fine. So my art journal almost wouldn't be a journal if I didn't add a little bit of scribble journaling on this cover. So I'm using my Uniball Signo pen to do that and it writes very nicely over all this acrylic stuff I've got going on. But remember, let it dry before you try and write on it. I want my tag to stand out a little bit more and I want to bring in some gold. So gilt is a nice color for that. So I'm just using the Heavy Body Acrylic Gilt and adding that around the edges of my tag over that black. It's going to add a nice effect. And I want to keep it tied together, so I'm also, of course, going to splatter. I couldn't resist splattering, right, that gold onto my cover. I decided that blue for the bird was just not working for me, so I decided I would also paint that gold. Now I just want to add a few more things, and this cover is going to be complete. I wanted to try out Dina's white spray and it's very nice and opaque. You notice it will completely cover those dark colors on the background. So those drops made a really nice addition to this page. And then I wanted to edge the bird and my tag a little bit more to make them stand out a little bit more. I'm just really wanting things to pop off this cover. And so that's it. I am finished with this cover. I used foam tape to attach the parts and pieces and made them really stand out. I really enjoyed playing with Dina's new products. They'll be out, as I said, in February. She's demoing them at Creativation 2020. And I was very honored to be one of five people, only five guys chosen to create a cover for Dina's booth. So keep your eyes open for more demos of these products. I'm having so much fun with them and I'll see you in the next video.